Mm. Yeah, turn the house lights off. Okay, I downloaded Hulu, uh, or subscribed to Hulu, um, because I am really tired of not knowing what my friends are talking about. Um, so I have been watching The Real Housewives of Orange County because I do have a soft spot for Orange County. I don't know why. Hindsight, you know, or not even hindsight, upon further evaluation, I like all of them. So whatever. I guess I just started with the OC. Uh, season 13. Okay, so we're going to Costco, which I'm very excited for because I follow Costco Does It Again on Instagram. And I have a list of things that I'm in the market for. Uh, also, if you guys like have any interest in stuff at your house, Costco sometimes crushes it. So, you know, might as well. Um, what else? It's Monday, if I haven't already said that. And tomorrow I have to go to my friend's funeral, which is a complicated thing because my friend was 42 years old. She had just turned 42. And that doesn't, that's not supposed to happen now. And so... It was really sudden and really conflicted. Like, I mean, like, obviously I'm sad, but it's like this really, it just doesn't feel real. You know what I mean? So I just, she's just posting like matcha lattes a month ago and asking for mattress recommendations and stuff. And like now she's gone. So like, I'm, I'm not going to vlog or anything tomorrow because I'm probably going to be crying. Um, and I also don't really... I don't know. It's this complicated thing, right? Because like I'm, I'm in a, I'm a sentimental and like really sappy person. Like I'm really easy to cry, um, just around like sappy stuff. But I'm also like really pragmatic, and um, my brain just can't rationalize it. So it's it's just that thing where it's I don't really know what to do. Um, Yeah, I'm just like really confused and like I, it's, it's obviously it's final but it doesn't feel final so it's gonna be a lot of people I knew her from when I worked for Sephora so there's gonna be a ton of like former and current Sephora people just kind of consoling each other you know so yeah it's so it's just it's weird how fast it happens and so I, I've been a little reluctant because I've been kind of going through just stuff, you know, like you, you're, you're focusing on the positives, right? But like at the same time, she was being caregiver for her father and she and I were like talking while I was in the hospital with my dad and like that comes up in my head from time to time and, you know, you, you charge on, but at the same time, you know. It's how it is in life, right? It shows up at weird spots. So, yeah. Anyway, so I've got to go do that tomorrow. And um, I've got a ton of work I've got to get done. I have so much work I have to do. And I have a bunch of other stuff I've got to get done this week. So, um, it's going to be a really productive week. I don't know how like vloggy productive it'll be, but I'll try. Um, but yeah, so at least I'll do some Costco and... Hopefully I get some good stuff today. Um, I did tackle most of my vanity. So it only took like a month. But I got it done. Two months really. Um, and I gotta get. I gotta finish it. But I need stuff for it. Like I need to re kind of organize it. But I just cleaned out most of the crap. Most of it. Not all of it. <sighs> really we're about halfway done. If I'm being real. It's just a lot. I've let it go way too long so you know good morning it is super rainy hang on let me put you here so you can actually see me it's super super rainy so I, this is why i look like this because there's really no point in getting any more ready um i'm running errands with my dad he is currently at the barber he's getting his first haircut in like three months i'm so excited for him um and then i just dropped off his mail and I, we picked up his belt from the shoe repair store, and now I'm picking up his prescriptions. That way he's all square. And then I think we're gonna go have some lunch, because we haven't done that in a very long time. 
I'm excited. Um, today's Wednesday. It's January 22nd. I, I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday was a really weird day. My friend died, um, which is a weird sentence to say. You know, it's, it's, it, it's not, my friend died from something that, she died of cancer. And my friend was like the healthiest person I like knew. Um, she was like one of those wheatgrass people. You know what I mean? Like just so healthy. Anyway, so um, she died of stage four lung cancer like 10 or 11 days after she found out she had it. Um, and yeah, anyway, so hadn't even had treatment, nothing like that. Just that and that was compounded like her father passed, just recently passed away and that's when I think she had kind of you know let go and I current circumstances I obviously really wanted to go to the funeral I'm really, and I did go and I'm really grateful I went and it was a nice reunion for me to see people that I hadn't seen in a while you know because we'd all worked together like five six years ago um so I'm grateful for that but it's one of those things where you I kept saying this is just the weirdest reunion and it feels funny in your mouth, right? Like you shouldn't be here for this. You shouldn't be here for her. She shouldn't have been, like nobody should have, but like of everybody we know, her and she was 42. So it's just crazy. Um, so if you hear the windshield wipers, it's raining. I'm in line at the pharmacy for my dad. So yeah, it was just a really rough day yesterday. So I didn't get, hardly anything done um except for a lot of crying and you know it's one of those things where I, I've talked about I feel like I've talked about this a lot I've talked about some stories and I've talked about it in videos about resolutions and goals and stuff and making 2020 the year of no excuses and being present that was my that's my other really big thing is making use of my time right being present and I feel like yesterday was such a perfect but like awful perfect right like you don't ever want to find out this way this is not how you want to learn that lesson um reminder that like you need to make time for people you need to show up you need to go to those things so we're all we've all decided to do a really big like huge reunion of sorts every so every couple of months like invite the family invite the kids at some like crazy, I don't even know, right? Like we live in Texas, so there's plenty of places out here that um, can fit us all, but you never know. And you don't want to do what we just did where we, we all kind of were saying the same things and pissed that we didn't get a chance. We didn't know it was that bad, you know what I mean? And like that was, and I'm not pointing fingers, like I totally get you're just, that you don't want to share that. I understand that, but I don't want to have to do that again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want my friends to to be saying that at my funeral. Um, so I want I want a lot more opportunities to have memories and not just talk about work and you know the con like all that. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's tough, right? So yeah. Anyways, this has been a weird it's been a weird like week or two, week and a half since she's passed. Cause it kind of like hits me in like weird little specific moments where I just, I look at my dad cause she's been, she was taking care of her father for like 16 or 17 months. I've been taking care of my dad for almost three. And I can't even imagine what 17 months with him not as, not progressing as well as my father is. I can't even imagine what that does to you internally. I mean like she didn't, there's, I, there's so much on that, right? But it's not my, it's not my place to, to comment or to volunteer or whatever, I have no idea. Um, I can only speak from my own experience and yeah, like I just, it makes you so grateful for, I still get, I still, I, I mean like, oh my God, they were talking about her father and I was like, a uh, mess. I was just sobbing at the funeral. I was like, uh, cause you know, like we had reconnected about caregiving about like how hard this is and like it takes up your life but you are happy to do it like it's not a like a woe is me thing it's just holy shit this is work um and we're so fortunate that we were in spots that we could do it but like it does take a toll on you uh and then to see that it's just gutting okay hang on i gotta pick up a shirt
Oh my god. Oh, that's a, that's a cute look. Y'all need, y'all, sorry, I thought my headphones were still on me. Y'all need to do the XOXO Cody classes on Peloton if you have a Peloton. They are so good, so good. And they're 30 minutes. I'm noticing, I did some like trend analysis uh, in my like fitness tracking whatnot for my Peloton screen just get one uh, for 2020. And I noticed in like literally the first two weeks that if I do a 45 minute spin class, I eat way more than if I do a 30 minute spin class. And since I'm trying to lose some fat and some like of the back weight, um, I, you know, yes, I want the kind of muscle gains off the 45, but I don't think I'm where I need to be in order to be able to tackle a 45 minute class without eating some of the, some of that caloric burn back, if that makes sense. So I think I'm gonna try to postpone that and maybe tackle them in, I don't know, back half February, maybe March, who knows? But yeah, I very highly recommend the uh, Cody Rigsby classes. They had XO at his Valentine's Day. I just did his first one and it's so good. Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon. Um, it is Friday. It's January 24th. I'm working on my stuff right now. I've got like my planner and I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done around the house today. And I'm trying to get some marketing stuff done for, um, for like Valentine's Day for my business. And yeah, so uh, I meant to vlog yesterday. I got my nails done. Aren't they so cute? You can't. They kind of look a little bit better if you've got coffin-shaped nails, but that's not really my jam. So, focus. There we go. Cute, huh? So, um, I always Instagram. I always Instagram my nails. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that's a really good way to keep up with me because I do, I do do stories. I'm not like obsessively doing stories, but I do do them. Um, but yeah, so today Dad and I are like. Getting, making some headway on some of his insurance crap that's been delaying him and I'm getting some household stuff done we got to go around and get him some diabetic um like glucose strips and stuff like that he's out of his strips and the ones that he uses his whole kit is exclusive to like this Kentucky store that we don't have in Texas so we have to go get him squared away so it's always something but it's okay um, and then I, uh, have, I have meal planning. So, um, the whole point of this update is to tell you that it is January 24th. And so it's, it's, you know, about three and a half weeks into the new year. And I am finally, finally starting to see real headway with, um, my body. So, uh, it's not like 10 pounds. I've lost like three. Um, and it's not even that actually. I've lost like 2.2. But I've also lost inches, and I just thought I would mention, if you are like me and doing something like, you know, slow and steady, not too aggressive a deficit, um, you know, and you're exercising, I exercise, I, I aim for four days a week, um, in, with respect to my back. So it takes a little bit of time, right? So I just. Notice today, I have a daily gratitude in my in my um, planner, and today I wrote down like I'm finally making fitness and weight headway, which is really great because it's it's been about three and a half weeks, which is about when your body starts to release the water weight and your muscles start to release that you know the kind of inflammation. You're like everything's kind of swollen, that starts to release. So I feel really good. I don't feel deprived, and I was meal planning for next week for me and dad, and. Dad was saying that he eats more veggies with me, and so he wants to like learn. So I'm gonna teach him how to make protein smoothies and like play, and we're gonna make like salads and stir fries and stuff like that. So um, I thought I would do a video, like not next week, but kind of in the future, um, maybe when I've got a little bit more weight off. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit better about this. I'm a little bit closer to my goal, I should say. Um, about what I eat in a day and how I kind of approach food because I feel like I do it in a really healthy, practical way because I don't have a lot of time, but I don't like fast food. Uh, I, I like I the the only place I get food from that's fast food here is Torchies. 
um, and I get their salad, or I'll go to P. Terry's every once in a blue moon and I get the lettuce wrapped veggie burger um, and I'll pick up their fries because their fries are bomb. But yeah, so I just thought, yeah, I wanted to come on and, and update you guys on that because you know, I, I've been doing that show up every day thing. That's like my big mantra for this year. And it's, it's starting to really manifest in, a, in some results, which is really promising. But on top of that, I, you know, I made a goal with my channel this year to show you more than I normally do and give you more insight um, to some stuff. So I thought, you know, it's a, it's a nice little way to like touch base and say, it's a nice way to kind of include that into the mix, if that makes sense. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, <sighs> my, um, what else can I tell you? So yeah, I might do some like more fitness and, and diet videos down the road once I'm a little bit cl closer to my normal. Um, but I do feel, I think for the first time really since maybe a year and a half ago. Um, I argue even further than that, honestly. I feel like I'm really getting back. You know what I mean? Like it's really starting to etch back out. Um, I still have a ways to go. I still have about a 15 pounds until I'm back to where I was before my back. 15, 18, kind of depending on the day and workout schedule and, and water and alcohol and salt and all that kind of stuff, pizza, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's really good. I'm really excited. I am confident that I'll be able to do it um, and do it in a sustainable way. That makes me happy. I'm 34. I can't be doing any crash diets. I don't have that kind of ability. Um, I get bitchy. But I show you, I think I can show you some like hacks and stuff like that, like how I manage Actually, that's a good idea. I should do videos around that because um, I'm pretty good at it. I just filmed, oh, it was a cute look. I just filmed a um, like 2020 motivation update video with what I'm using for like planners and like books I'm currently reading and workbooks and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought I would update the vlog with that and let you know that I am in fact filming non-vlog related videos. Although y'all seem to like the vlogs. I get more views on them. Um, yeah, I also, I don't know if I said this or not, but because it's a vlog, I'm going to include it. Um, if you guys are anything, you don't actually have to be anything like me. If you guys are doing something that you're really motivated to do, um, in whatever facet of life, right? But like, for me, it's my, it's my business. And you get like good feedback. Like I have had the most incredible client feedback lately and it is just the most heartwarming thing. Like I've always had, I'm very fortunate that like every client I've had has really found a lot of value in my service um, and in like the sessions with me. But I'm, it's not, I don't know. It's something that I'm very conscious of that I don't ever want to take for granted is just like that, that conversation that you have with clients after the fact where they're, kind and thoughtful and, 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 you know, go out of their way basically to say thank you for t pulling me and my self-esteem out of this dark place that I was in because I didn't know what was, what to use or whatever. Cause it, you know, you can act like you're above what you look like, but you're totally affected by it. Um, so if you have somebody whose job it is, is just to guide you, I'm not selling you anything just to guide you. Um, I just, it, it was like, I was saying to my family, it makes me feel like, oh, this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Like you get so much reinforcement out of that and you get so much like more motivation out of that, right? So um, I was, the other Thursday night I was at dinner and I was getting texts from a client and it's just like, it was the most heartwarming thing because I, I have worked so hard to get to where I am and I have like, this is not just like what I do for work, but this is my hobby. This is what I, I can't help but research. This is the stuff that I get really upset about because of the amount of misinformation out there and the amount of marketing disguised as education. And it drives me crazy. And it is why I started my own company because I, I genuinely get so upset about how 
they don't prioritize education and training anymore for, for like people that are working in the, in the beauty industry. Everything is like, it's just the amount of misinformation is staggering and it is, is endless. It's an endless thing, right? So it just made me, it just made me feel so good. And I, I'm three weeks into the new year, right? And you're just like, oh, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, so it's kind of good. It's, it was a really good night. That was a really good night. I was really proud of myself. Um, and I think that's like one of the big takeaways this year for me is I just want to get back to feeling that proud of myself. Because I, I, I don't really struggle with like, putting myself last you know what I mean like I'm not the lowest priority for me parts of my life maybe but like my overall well-being isn't um but I am very capable and so I struggle with what I'm doing versus what I'm capable of and that space so what I've really taken to heart and really tried to chip away at is that space this year right but doing it in a way that's not gonna hurt me or take away time from you know other super important valuable parts of my life like my family and I don't know I just feel like this week was a really good week for that you know what I mean like I just this week was the push in the right direction that I like I got a bunch of signs that it was like you're doing great you know so yeah hmm. anyway <laughs> Uh, it's Saturday, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up today. Uh, I'm going to go run a couple of quick errands, and I'm going to, I have to edit the video just filmed. I need to upload that today. Uh, I did work out already today. If you guys um, have a Peloton and you want to follow along with me, my Peloton name is Sarah Taylor Skin, so you're absolutely welcome to follow me. Um, and, and like, we can, you know, like, high five each other if we're in the same class or whatever. Like, I'm so down for that. Um, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great week and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.